Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab and if you like the way I solve this lab please give one thumbs up and comment down below is this video helpful for you or not. So first of all just log in with your local credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here. Now the first thing that you have to do you have to just enable this development mode just simply click on this toggle it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and here you can see it's enabled. Now in description box I will share one github link so just open that link and then you are able to access this document. Now watch the video carefully. First of all what you have to do you can see this develop just simply click over here and then click on this quick lab e-commerce just simply click over here. It will take a couple of seconds to load the data so just wait and it's done. Now here you can see views just simply click on this three dot like this and then click on this create view like this. Now for the name just copy this name and make sure that you do not copy an extra space just copy the name carefully and paste over here like this user order lifetime this just simply click on create and if you just simply click on this view you can see this file is created in the view section like this now just remove all this content like this now copy all this content i will recommend you just copy from the bottom like this way like this just copy all this content paste over here like this then click on this save it's done now click on this user view this last file user view now remove all this content come back over here just simply scroll down copy from here till up like this in user view file just copy that and paste over here again click click on save and it's done now click on this modules and then click on this training like this and now remove all this content again just simply scroll down now copy from here till here make sure you have to copy till connection like this from the connection till this just copy that paste over here like this then click on this save it's done then click on this validate it's validating and it's done then click on this commit now for the message just simply type quick lab then click on this commit just wait and then click on this deploy to production and it's done now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the all the tasks you will get a score on the task number one task number two and task number four you won't get a score on the task number three no need to worry just wait and watch i will explain you what we had to do over there just wait and as you can see we got a 70 out of 100 okay now for the task number three what you have to do just open this link in new tab like this just simply come back over here then click on this explore option and then click on this order items like this now just wait it will load the data and it's done now here you can see quick lab just simply click over here now just wait now here we have to make three changes first of all here you can see average sales let me just zoom in you can see users average sale just simply click on this arrow and you, you can see it's descending order so you have done with one changes now here you can see visualization just choose a table like this just choose that and now here you can see row limit just simply type 10 okay so we have done with the three changes average is into descending order then table format and then row limit is 10 once you're done with all these changes just simply click on this run option and it's done just wait you will get output over here and it's done now what you have to do click on this gear icon then click on this save and save as a look this third option you have to choose that now for the title just simply come on the task number three scroll down a little bit and here you can see from the point number eight this point number eight just copy this name okay make sure that you do not copy that full stop just copy the name carefully and paste over here like this then click on this save and look view this one not save save and look view. just simply click over here and it's done just wait 
and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys